Don't Make Me Go is a well-acted, well-directed, bittersweet film about the troubled relationship between a middle-aged single father and his 15-year-old daughter. At the beginning, in voiceover, the daughter tells the audience, you're not going to like the ending of this story, but I think you'll like the story. And that's pretty much how I felt. I enjoyed watching this film, but I was disappointed by the surprise twist at the end. There's one option, but the operation is risky. When John Cho as Max learns that he has a fatal bone cancer and only a year to live, he makes the bad decision not to tell his daughter Wally, played by Mia Isaac. He also decides to take her to his college class reunion almost 2,000 miles away with the idea of introducing her to her mother who left them for his classmate when Wally was a toddler. Let's go somewhere. We've never taken a real road trip together. No way. It's the rest of summer. We're going. I will be miserable the entire time. I will teach you to drive on the way. The trip will also keep her away from the selfish boy she's interested in. Father and daughter clearly love each other. The actors have great chemistry, but they don't really understand each other. And the driving lessons don't go smoothly. But they do have some nice moments on the road, like when they are surprised to win at roulette when they stop at a casino. We won! Oh my god! Oh my god, this never happens, okay? Highly improbable. They also go dancing. Explain to me why we're here. Because every father should teach his daughter how to dance before her wedding day. Don't you think? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we got tons of time before you need to worry about that. I won't tell you what happens at the reunion and with Wally's biological mom, but I will say that father and daughter eventually learn to be honest with each other. I bet on you. I want you for my whole life. Don't Make Me Go isn't a great film, but these two fine actors make it a pleasure to watch. Terry Hunter, Hawaii News Now.